Hi guys, in-depth movie highlights tapping in with another one. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2014 American fantasy and action movie called Seventh Son, which follows the story of a master and his apprentice who fight off evil otherworldly beings. High in the mountains, Gregory imprisons Malkin, a powerful witch who is begging him to release her. Years pass, then she regains his strength and power in a blood moon. She escapes her imprisonment in dragon form. In a village, Bradley, Gregory's apprentice seeks his master to inform him that a village child is infected. Gregory replies that he deals with otherworldly beings no more, but a knight pushes him to fight. Gregory refuses to comply with the arrogant knight's order, then a brawl breaks out. He skillfully defeats the knight, then goes with Bradley after he knows the bells are ringing, which means he is summoned to the village. The two go to the village and find the little girl seeming possessed. Turns out the evil spirit behind the possession is Mother Malkin, whose strength has returned after Gregory imprisoned her. Bradley is almost tempted by her beauty, but he manages to snap back and work with his master to capture her. Unfortunately, she attempts to flee, then when she is almost pushed into a cage, she drags Bradley with him. Seeing he has no choice to save his apprentice, Gregory burns the cage. However, Malkin still has the strength to escape in her dragon form. Somewhere far away, there lives a peaceful family of farmers. Tom, the seventh son, loves to hunt pigs and dreads getting out of his boring hometown. Kate, his sister, yells at him to tend the pigs. Then his body suddenly shakes, and he sees a vision. Kate calls their mother, who seems to know how to care for his son. Master Gregory then arrives at Ward's residence on a boat. He knows there lives a seventh son of the seventh son, a qualification to become a knight like him, and would like to recruit him. He explains he is in a hurry and pays a lot of money to the patriarch. Tom recognizes Gregory as the man from his visions, and agrees to become his apprentice. Before he leaves, Mam Ward gives him her mysterious pendant, which she hid from Gregory when she first greeted him. Meanwhile, Malkin arrives in her fortress and questions her sister, Lizzie, who is badly injured from Gregory's doing. She heals her and rebuilds the wrecked fortress. Lizzie explains that the spook, Gregory, has made them suffer. Gregory and Tom arrive in a town and split up to gather provisions. Tom sees a commotion, finding an accused witch who is about to be executed. He recognizes the girl from his visions and uses his position as Gregory's apprentice to deal with her. After hiding in an alley, he frees her, she disappears without a trace. Turns out she is Alice, Lizzie's daughter, a witch spy who has been following Gregory. Gregory and Tom continue their journey. They walk in a forest full of gods. He questions his master's former apprentices, who were all killed. Gregory talks about Bradley, his best apprentice who was killed by Malkin. They will head to Malkin's fortress in Pendle Mountain to stop her before her full strength returns and she will lay waste to cities. Tom suddenly has visions again and passes out. He wakes up on a boat and meets Tusk, another companion of his master. They arrive at Gregory's residence. Tom asks about an old tapestry of the Falcons, army of knights who are powerful to fight darkness and otherworldly beings, and deduces that Gregory is the only falcon left as other knights have succumbed to darkness. Gregory reminds him that they only have a week before the red moon when Malkin and her witches will gain their fullest extent of power. Before dismissing him Gregory tells Tom not to get out of his chambers. He tests him by activating one of the dark creatures to make noise, which disturbs Tom. He goes out to check the noise and is immediately attacked by it. Gregory thinks Tom fails him but is impressed when Tom throws a dagger that almost hits him. Tom begs Gregory to teach him. He then studies Malkin's lieutenants and learns gears and potions used in fighting witches. Meanwhile, Malkin is met by her lieutenants. Rodder brings her his finest assassins. She intimidates them and murders one of them who dares to look at her. Seeing that, Alice fears for her safety and asks Lizzie if following Malkin is the right thing to do. Lizzie convinces her that it is the right thing and that Malkin's powers will make men no longer target them to be burned. Alice then continues spying on Tom and Gregory by intentionally bathing under the moonlight to attract Tom's attention. When they touch, a blue spark emerges. Tom realizes Alice is a witch but does not seem to hate her. He even spills that he and his master will be going to Pendle Mountain to defeat Malkin. Alice disappears again. The next day, Gregory is summoned to the walled city, delaying their journey to Pendle Mountain. He needs to deal with Urog, the deadliest of Malkin's lieutenants. He lets Tom finish the job, but he hesitates to burn him and decides not to do it. Gregory is disappointed, then leaves without him. Unbeknownst to them, Alice watches the commotion. She then approaches Tom again, then they make out. Alice believes the blue spark earlier is caused when two souls are destined to meet. Tom wants to get out somewhere safe with her, but she thinks it is not possible. 
he sees visions again of Malkin defeating Gregory, then decides to go back to his master to help him. Gregory admits to Tom that he fell in love with Malkin once, but she became jealous after knowing he had a wife, whom she murdered. He showed her mercy by not killing her and only imprisoning her. But that was a mistake. Meanwhile, all Malkin's lieutenants except Uger have gathered, and they learn from Alice that the two spooks are approaching closer to the fortress. They encounter Boggart, a reckless terrestrial giant with low vision. They fight but Gregory misunderstands the opponent, thinking it fears water. Tom finally defeats it after they fall off a waterfall. He then is threatened by Lizzie, but her sword struck his pendant. She is shocked because she knows the pendant belongs to Malkin, then escapes. Tom shows the pendant to Gregory. It is an umbran stone, a powerful witch talisman that enhances their illusions. It multiplies Malkin's strength but was stolen by another witch. After that, Gregory was able to defeat her. They deduce Mam Ward is a witch who stole the pendant from Malkin, which makes Tom a witch while also being a spook apprentice. Meanwhile, Lizzie informs Malkin about Tom's feelings for Alice, as she sensed it when she encountered him. Then, Malkin instructs Alice to retrieve the pendant from Tom. If she succeeds, Malkin may consider sparing Tom's life. Malkin and her lieutenants then attack the village. They show their forces to avenge those witches that the men have executed. Mam Ward, who happens to be in town defends it despite warnings from her family. Malkin immediately realizes a witch is betraying her and siding with the villagers, then murders Mam Ward. Gregory, Tom, and Tusk continue their journey. While Gregory and Tusk check on something and leave Tom behind and Alice appears and approaches Tom. Gregory and Tusk quickly return, then capture Alice. Tom defends her, believing that not all witches are evil. He frees her, not realizing she has stolen his pendant. The three then chase her to a forest, where Malkin's army awaits them. A battle ensues. Tom and Tusk fall off a canyon, while Gregory is captured and then brought to Malkin. After regaining consciousness, Tom meets with her mother's spirit, who convinces him to have courage, accept his powers, and defeat Malkin. He finds Tusk who also survived the fall and together they head for Pendle Mountain. Meanwhile, Malkin's lieutenants bring Gregory before her. She seduces him, using the stone to enhance her powers. Alice is devastated when learning that Malkin's army left Tom to die. Then she interrupts her aunt and takes off her pendant, cancelling her illusions and snapping Gregory back to his senses. Malkin chases after her but Lizzie stands in her way, defending her daughter as she means everything to her. They transform into dragons and then chase after each other. Meanwhile on the ground, a fight ensues between Alice, Tom, and Gregory against Malkin's army. Tom finds Alice, then she explains that she took the pendant to supposedly make Malkin spare his life. Seeing the pendant beneath the fortress ruins, Tom claims his powers, combining the spook's staff with the pendant. His power easily defeats Malkin's lieutenants. Malkin and Lizzie fight each other until both are injured. However, Malkin gains the upper hand in the end, exclaiming that she disapproves of her sister's betrayal, then murders her. Gregory tells Tom he must defeat Malkin alone and enters the fortress by himself. He finds Malkin lying on her bed, who questions his love for her. He states that he harbors a love for her no more, then secretly wields a dagger to stab her, but she chokes him first. From the door Tom throws a dagger at Malkin, fatally injuring her. He then finishes his job by burning the witch on her bed, ending her reign of terror. They then leave the fortress. Sometimes later, Gregory marks Tom's hand with a falcon nightmark, accepting him to be a master. Tom meets Alice again, who accepts that he chooses to fight evil powers instead of being with her. He then prepares to leave but learns in the end that the horse he prepares is for Gregory to ride while enjoying his retirement. Gregory gives up his residence and all his inheritance to Tom. After seeing his former master ride off the horizon, Tom hears a bell ringing and quickly prepares to go on a mission. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.